Hey, good good afternoon, class. Uh, Mr. Bean here. Uh, this will be AP Physics uh, Unit One, Kinematics, uh, Video Lesson One, Area Under the Curve. And let's see what that entails here. Uh, here we have three graphs, as we can see here, and we're given some initial information here that says acceleration is two meters per second squared for an object for time equals five seconds. Initial velocity, V with a little O here, sub O, uh, equals zero meter per second, which means initial velocity. And so what this is telling me that each second that passes, the speed increases by two meters per second, okay? So let's see what this looks like with the various graphs here and see what we can get from this. So here we have acceleration versus time. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, cursor here, and we use blue here. And so two meters per second squared for time equals five seconds. So we go over here, this is one, this is two, and this is a one second, there's two seconds, three, four, and five, okay? And I didn't do this correct, make it a little straighter there. Okay, so uh, here we have like a, a rectangle here. Uh, this is a rectangle. And sometimes we might want to ask ourselves, what's the area of this rectangle? Okay, so it looks like length times width here. So it looks like it's going to be two um, meters, right, per uh, second squared, right, times, uh, looks like five seconds here. And if I do that, I get here, the, new, the number part is 10, and the units, the seconds cancel out, or one of the seconds cancels with uh, two second with the second squared over here, leaving me with 10 meters per second. So what the area under the curve of acceleration versus time tells me at the end of five seconds, the final speed is, or the velocity is 10 meters per second. Let's say it's traveling north, 10 meters per second. All right, so that's what the area tells me here is what the velocity is after a certain amount of time. So now I go over here and here's velocity versus time and I'm starting from zero. And so, uh, so, and I do it for uh, 10 seconds, or excuse me, for five seconds. So starting from zero and so it's going to be up two over one, which would be like right here, up two over one right here, up two over one, which is about here, up two over one, and let's go up two over one. And make sure we have five seconds. There's one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. So very carefully now, I want to, uh, uh, so this is five seconds, and lo and behold, this should be 10 right here, and this will be five. We want to make sure we check our, check our math. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so 10 meters per second at the end of five seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw, because it's constant, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a curve here like so to right there. And it looks like we have a, uh, is it a triangle here. There's a triangle. And area of a triangle is one half base times height. So in this case here, let's see what the area under this curve here tells us. So we know it's gonna be one half, now the base is five seconds. So we have down here five uh, seconds here, like so. Uh, we'll put in parentheses so we don't get confused. Times it by the height, which is going to be ten. Right? There's ten, and here's meters per second. Cool. We'll go right here. So if I take five times ten, that's fifty. Uh, the seconds cancel out, and fifty. Uh, divided by two will give us 25 meters, 25 meters. All right, so the area of velocity versus time gives us displacement or position, displacement, 25 meters. Okay. So, uh, so just by knowing the acceleration and for how long, I can get the velocity or speed by area, area of the curve here and I can get displacement or position 
uh, by uh, velocity area of the curve for velocity versus time. All right, that'll be it.